All right, let's get started. Um, so first you have on the star card in the first position, which talks about the um, potential that they are the one. Star card comes up to say, wish granted. Are you able to kind of have a balanced um, emotional reaction here uh, in the situation? There are deep, rippling emotions, but there's also a practical side where the... the um, you are grounded in your emotions and your feelings for this one. But I mean, overall, this is just like basically wish come true. I mean, they see you, they appreciate you, um, and you can be vulnerable with them, which is always a really great thing to have, you know, uh, in a potential partner, of course. Okay. So big, huge yes there with that star card. Okay. And then you have the long-term potential for a relationship or um, marriage okay and here you go with empress empress huge yes you know um, she talks about getting the the person that you want again that emotional balance that abundance of love and emotions um but that are flowing between the two of you um that you're able to you know express and just the purity within uh the relationship um and, you know, just she's full of success and love, full of success and love. OK. And then we have down here as far as what's hindering the relationship. Um, uh, I'm going to try to see if I can I forget sometimes to move the cards a little bit closer for you guys to see. We have the King of Wands and the King of Wands. Um, it's he comes up here as a hindrance is because that someone in the connection is not completely, um, might not be completely focused on having, um, a relationship, you know, they're here and there because of all that fire energy that's going on. Um, I mean, it could represent you or somebody who's taking on that fire energy. Um, it could be that your focus is just not on, um, romance right now or it could be you know that uh, if this is a very demanding relationship it's fun um and demanding uh, because you're making you know the relationship the the number one priority so it's kind of taking and consuming every other part um of your life or the connection whether you're with the person or not but either way you can be consuming every other part of your life um and so it's kind of causing some of this hindrance and with it being underneath the star card um i want to say that that's where we talk about that balance with the emotions and with the practical the practical side of the relationship that kind of needs to happen um uh is that yeah yes you've got your wish and so you know trying to kind of keep up with demands might be a, a little difficult because you're like ah yay you know I, I have the person that it is that i wanted you know i want to be appreciated and known and so i'm going to put all my time energy and effort you know just like we would as any other fire sign um in order to make you know this relationship work um, but it, it might be causing some, some energy and tension, um, because what we have here as far as, um, what is helping, um, is kind of like that four of swords, four of swords is like mentally you might need to take a break. Um, uh, and in order to kind of step back to see the whole picture and with it being underneath the empress, it says, you know, you are, um, there's some part of this relationship that actually helps to uh, nurture, uh, you know, both sides uh, for everybody that's involved um, here in the relationship. But if they are not able to kind of have their complete focus on the relationship, then this also comes in to kind of say, um, to give you some time to be able to step back. Um, to get um, a bigger idea, uh, the bigger picture of the relationship. Um, oh, wow, they also just kind of gave me something else, especially with it being underneath the empress, is that you can kind of take, sell it to take rest in this other person, which would completely make sense with the empress showing up there. Wow, thank you, Spirit, for that one. Um, is that somebody is taking solitude and rest in, in, in the connection, in the relationship. Um, what also 
helps you to see the bigger picture as well and goes back to that star card with that healing and having that emotional balance with the practical side and, and allowing yourself to be um, vulnerable. So that's great and wonderful. Um, and so what you have as far as what you need to work on is the, is the queen of wands, um, dear Leo. And she kind of comes up to me as kind of like work on yourself, self-realization, which goes back there to that four of uh, swords, you know, realize that um, there, is a, it, there is a connection despite it being incredibly demanding, despite the person, um, it might seem like they're not completely focused on their relationship as we talk about here with the king of wands. But what's interesting to me is that you have the, the fact that we have a match kind of come out here, queen of wands, king of wands. So if you work on yourself, you kind of be able to see the bigger picture with them and see why it is that their focus might not be completely um, on the relationship or the relationship is so super um, demanding fun. Yes, <laughs> but demanding in that how we can kind of just take it down a notch um, and just kind of start to really, you know, um, enjoy each other um and you know when you start to kind of also i always say this when you start to kind of work on yourself um you work on the relationship um uh because you know you bring in uh the self-realization about what it is that you need and want in order to make sure that that's balanced out with what the other person um needs and wants um because if it's hugely demanding, we have to be very careful that the other person doesn't um, kind of overtake the relationship, um, is what they're saying, um, by putting too much, too many demands on the other person. Um, okay? So just be yourself. That's where your joy will come from. Um, because again, you are, you have a big heart. Um, you can be kind and, and generous, um, here, uh, with the connection. And then we have what it is that they need to work on. We have two cards that came out as far as, uh, what they need to work on. First, we have the three, uh, swords, um, uh, which does not look like a very great card, but they're, it's kind of like they need to get to the heart of the matter of what's going on with them. Um, it, three of swords, you know, generally does talk about sorrow, uh, but it's also more like sorrow that's going on in your head, stuff, thoughts, and everything that, that are coming up to cause this sorrow, the pain. But, um, it also can be talking about, you know, just kind of getting to the heart of the matter of your feelings. Um, because again, back here, like I was saying, there was, there was some hindrance that came up with the King of Wands is that their focus may not be completely here on their relationship. Um, because they've got so many things going on and it could be these thoughts of, of sorrow. Um, I, I don't feel like it's a triadic, um, connection here. I just feel like there's, it's like really high energy. Like there's so much going on that, um, their focus just hasn't been on, you know, romantic endeavors and they kind of need to realize how to stop playing games. Now, what came out with the three, of uh, swords is the king of swords, um, um, and when we're talking about what they need to work on is their communication. They need to communicate. They need to, to learn how to communicate with you in a less blunt way, or at least be able to communicate their emotions uh, at all. Because um, sometimes air, some people can find it very difficult uh, with uh, communicating how they're feeling because we learn how to comp compartmentalize Um uh, our emotions in order to, to do whatever it is that we need to get done. So see back over there with that king of that king of wands. They're focusing on doing everything. They don't have time to focus in on emotions. Um, and it's kind of causing some issues in their mental processes. So they need to get to the heart of the matter. That's why 
that's really again why that three uh, swords can come up so they they're feeling these deep um, emotions for you um and it is difficult for you possibly to be in a relationship by yourself they're telling me they're saying like it's really independent so again the king of swords i mean the king of wands you feel kind of like it's one-sided possibly um and that's difficult for you so again why you need to work on being yourself why you need to kind of meditate in order to be able to see the bigger picture what's going on um within the relationship but if they're taking on these air sign qualities we have to remember that fire and air generally do work very well together um they are pretty independent signs um so if you are queen of wands and you need to work on yourself it might be that you need to remember that you are this independent soul um and that yes you want somebody to appreciate you but you don't need um somebody to um to appreciate you it's a want versus a need um and uh so yeah the king of swords needs to learn how to communicate communicate his emotions communicate his feelings um to you and um you know not leave so much of the relationship possibly up to the other party so see again that's where we come in with that demanding side okay um and so then we have the outcome um, we have the Four of Cups. Um, four of Cups uh, usually means that somebody is not paying attention. They're focused again on something else. So we need to change that focus and realize that love is here. Love is being offered, especially with the Empress coming up, right? I mean, she's love. She's success in love. She's uh, everything. I mean, this is definitely one of the major cards that you want to come out when we're talking about a love um, connection. Um, so you know, a, the pure spiritual sense uh, of love is being offered from the divine, right? Um, but they're not able to see it uh, because, again, their focus is on so many other things versus what's right there in front of them. Uh, so back to the demanding, back to um, it being too um, independent. But what we have here is the final, final outcome is the six of wands. So we have we get to achieve balance you get the man or woman of your dreams um you know after much struggle so it seems like there has been there could be some struggle here going on but in the very end we accomplish you win basically um uh we just have to communicate those thoughts and and those feelings and learn how to um, you know, just be ourselves, okay, and appreciate ourselves and see the bigger picture, All right? Um, I also have some romance angel cards for you guys. Oh, wow. wow. Um, it's like I almost don't know kind of where to begin with them. It's crazy. <laughs> Same theme. So, um, I'm just gonna start here. Um, the first card is make the effort great love is for taking the steps you're guided to take so i mean this is definitely great love you have the star card where they're coming in to appreciate you you laugh together um this is your wish come true you have the empress card success and love this is love right and then you have as the final outcome again getting the man or woman of your dreams achieving that balanced happy relationship um that that's able to move forward take those great strides forward so we need to make the effort in order to understand the other person um kind of bring down some of the demands on the relationship become present and in the relationship as well um communicate our thoughts and our feelings um and so next we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love and present moments so again it's the same the same thing you know forgiving um each other or them working through the sorrow that's up here in in their heads mentally um and you learning how to forgive them being some demanding causing possibly some of the independent nature within the relationship or within the connection and not focusing and not appreciating you right um and as they kind of release and recognize what's in front of them they're able to have more um you you two are able to experience more love and in your in your present moments okay um, so that's more of that 
that four of uh, swords energy, you're able to meditate and then release and see the bigger picture um, and heal because you're slowing down. Okay. And then finally have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So the Romans angels see that there is love, of course, here. Empress card, big up there. I mean, it trumps the heart, um, the three of swords with that pierced heart, right? And it trumps that four of cups. Um, because that's major energy that we're talking about. And so because there is love here, there's a chance to forgive. There's a chance um, to have compassion. And there's a chance to be able to work on the relationship in order to have that balanced outcome. In order to recognize what's going on here in front of you um, uh, for them. Okay? Um, and then I f finally, I have some... Uh, cards from the universe has got you back as far as the universe giving you advice okay so first we're gonna start off there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth okay so them expressing the truth that's sexy to you right um them expressing their emotions to you so they got to work on that and then um i honor how i want to feel I think Virgos got this as well. Um, um, you know, just kind of seeing and and um, acknowledging how you feel and telling the other person, you know, how you feel. Like, I feel this way and it's okay for me to feel this way and, and I'm going to express this to you um, because I know that the relationship can be more um, and we can you know, make the effort in order to make the relationship better, um, or the connection better. Okay. And then finally, I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. That's beautiful. That shows up here. Love, love, love card. And he's on his way to take somebody some love because he's got the ace of wands right there. That new passionate beginning. All right. So, I hope that that reading resonated with you. Um, if it didn't, just leave it. Um, we always want to make sure that, you know, it resonates with your soul. Um, that's your soul saying, yep, somebody got it right. Or that message was for, you know, for me. Um, and then remember that you do have free will um, to go with the flow or to fight the resistance because nobody can ever tell you that um you should do something or this is exactly um how it is again i'm just filling out the energy and giving you advice and tell you what i see based on here in the cards okay so i was in the end fuck like everybody shouldn't I, I don't know why i'm going off really strong with that but that's kind of what i've been feeling you know in, in my leo um feeling but yeah for everybody shouldn't and uh, I'm going to listen to what I want to do.